this is night three of the desperate search for a missing newborn taken from a South Florida home where three of his relatives were murdered. The surviving family of one week old Andrew Caballero praying he is alive and with someone who simply doesn't know what to do. CBS 4's Hank Tester is live in Southwest Miami Dade with an update on the search. Hank. Well, helping and praying, that's what we can tell you the uh, family is doing tonight. We talked to them earlier. They said they'd come out if they had any word about the fate of that young baby, and they did not come out. So uh, the search obviously continues. Let's take a look. Curtains wide open from the sidewalk, flowers, a picture of slain family members, relatives waiting for word, missing little Andrew Carrillo a focus of an intense search, state investigation that stretches from southwest Miami-Dade to Pasco County, north of Tampa. If anyone has possession of Andrew, to turn him in, we're not going to press charges. It's the only thing we got left. Tuesday, the little eight-pound newborn's mother, grandmother, and great-grandmother shot to death in the home of Andrew's father. While investigating that tragedy, Miami-Dade detectives realized the child's father, 49-year-old Ernesto Caballero, was nowhere to be found. The same for Andrew. Family members hoping for the best. We hope the kid is alive and hope someone will take care of him and will leave him in a place where we can pick him up. Wednesday, the father took his life, body found in Pasco County. Miami-Dade police had called him a suspect in the triple murder. Ernesto Caballero's van was found at the side of a rural road, found in the van, a baby's pacifier. We had the bloodhounds out there searching. The bloodhounds hit nothing. There was no indication that the child was in the area. Our news partners, the Miami Herald, reporting that police have surveillance video of the father leaving the home with the child and an AR-15 rifle. This man, instead of being at least happy that he had a beautiful son, healthy, almost eight pounds, I don't know the exact weight, he comes and does this crazy thing. Well, the family has established a GoFundMe page. If you like information to help out, take a look at our website at cbsmiami.com. I'm Hank Tester, CBS4 News. Back to you. Hank, thank you. Another